Hey, Study Sync teachers, this is Catlin, and I have a quick tutorial for you that is designed to help students engage with their vocabulary when they're learning remotely. So I'm going to click into the instructional path and select a first read. Now, when students encounter a first read, during the read section, they're going to see a collection of bold vocabulary words. And I always ask that they add an annotative note and try to make a prediction about what they think that word means based on how it's used in the sentence. So I'm trying to train their brains to slow down, think about a sentence like a puzzle, use the context clues, use the words they do know to try to figure out what these new and often unfamiliar bold words might mean. So students go through the first read and they make their vocabulary predictions. Then they're going to encounter those words again during the close read. And in the close read, they have the opportunity to engage in a vocabulary review activity where they drag and drop the definitions into the correct location. They can write a sample sentence. Now, typically when we're in class together, we would do additional vocab review. Since I don't get to see them while we're dealing with school closures, I decided to create a Google slide deck with the same number of slides as there are words, bold vocabulary words in the text. And for each slide, I'm asking that they again, put the definition here in this upper corner. And I always tell them, put the definition in your own words, something that makes sense to you. And then they can insert an image over here, simply go insert image, and they can search on the web for an image that will help them to remember the keyword here, sweltering. And then in this box, they write an ant or a synonym, a word that means about the same thing. And then in this box, they come up with an antonym or a word that means the opposite. And so my hope is that as they go through, and they think about these words and they use the Freyer model to come up with a definition, find an image, find a synonym, find an antonym, that they will have a better sense of these words moving forward. So if I'm using Google Classroom, I would click Create, select Assignment. I would give my assignment a title and direction, so I'd probably call it a Vocabulary Review for Diary, you know, the Diary of Anne Frank or the Anne Frank Diary. Click Add go to my Google Drive, I would find that slide deck, right, with the Freyer model, click Add, and then I want to make sure that I'm making a copy for every student so that every student can edit their copy. I can decide whether I want to give it points, um, when it's due, and then I can assign it. So what I'm going to do in the, the video link below this video is to give you a template so that if you want to use this with your own students, you have a blank template here that you can basically modify by adding the vocabulary words, giving it a title, um, and you can use it with your own students. If you think this would be helpful to reinforce their vocabulary review while they're learning from home.